Uh, when a heifer is approaching calving, uh, she will go through the first stage of calving, which will not be in labor. It's conditioned her for labor, and that's stage one, which is all pre-calving. Uh, the heifer will be uncomfortable during this stage one. It will last two to six hours, say no more than eight hours, in which the uterus is contracting. She's uncomfortable. She's laying down. She's getting up. She's She's on her back, she's walking, she's going to the back 40, she's not grazing. You just allow that heifer to go through stage one, and then when she goes into stage two, she will go into true labor. She will start contracting, she will be pulling up her flanks, she'll be bowing up her back, she'll be laying down, pushing her legs out extended, she will uh, uh, start defecating and urinating and bellering, and she's in stage two, which will alert you now to observe that heifer to make sure she goes ahead and calves within the four hours, leaving her alone, letting her be by herself, and observing her periodically to see that she's progressing. But if you go back and find that uh, she hasn't progressed, she's still straining, she's in labor, uh, she's pushing and shoving, but there's no fetal parts, no membranes, nothing protruding from her vagina. That's then a signal for you to intervene, that you will need to get that heifer up, get her in a restraint, get her tied off, get her cleaned up, get her tail pulled out of the side, and then examine her to decide why she's having trouble because you see nothing uh, within that two hours. Now, if you do see a bubble protruding through the vagina, that is a inner membrane. She's already broken water because in the early part of stage two, she breaks water and passes gallons of water. And then following that membrane that ruptured will be a second inner membrane that will protrude through her vagina, and that is a water bag, but it's not to be recognized as a water bag in which she hasn't broken water. She's already broken water. That's an inner membrane. That's a bubble that may come out size of an orange or grapefruit or even larger, go back in. We know she's in uh, stage two. Uh, she needs to cave within the four hours, but you, you continue to observe her, check on her periodically, but after two hours of observing that bubble and no more progress, you must intervene. Again, get her up, get her restrained, examine her, determine why she's having trouble. So it's either seeing nothing for two hours or seeing, seeing that bubble for two hours. Even after one hour, you're starting to plan to intervene and be in that heifer within that two hours of seeing nothing or seeing that bubble. Now, maybe you see some fetal parts protruding uh, out the vagina. You see both front feet, maybe even the nose. Uh, still leave her alone. Let her go through some progress. Check on her every hour. Every time you go back and look at her, check on her from some distance, being real quiet, sneaking around. She doesn't even know you're around, and she's making progress. More feet, more portion of the leg is protruded, more the nose, more the head. You just leave her on, alone. Keep checking her uh, every hour. But if you go back uh, an hour later, and it's exactly like it was when uh, you were checking on her the hour earlier, then you must intervene. There's been no progress from one hour uh, to the next. And now she needs to be restrained and examined. Whether the legs are sticking out, a bubble is protruding, or you see nothing, go in to determine why she's having trouble. She may be too small to have the calf. Uh, the calf may be too big. Uh, she may be too weak to have the calf. It may be some uh, a limb that's uh, folded back, maybe at the ankle or at the knee, or the whole leg is pulled back, or maybe the head is turned back, either to the right or left, or on its back, or between the front legs, then you must decide uh, how to make those changes uh, to deliver this calf. Be very clean, use some lubricating solutions to get her lubricated, even if you're using uh, some vegetable shortening to get it really slippery and slimy. But then if you don't make any progress after 30 minutes, you haven't made any headway, then you must call for some professional assistance by calling the veterinarian out or loading her up and carrying her in because uh, you haven't made any progress within that 30 minutes. Uh -huh.